Okay, loves, your girl is back with a lot of tea to spill because the TikTok community can't stop getting into drama, even during the holidays. Can y'all like go and hang out with your family or something? If you couldn't already tell, today we're gonna be spilling the tea on Dixie D'Amelio and how she got bullied by the whole internet for her new song. And guys, James Charles and Nessa Barrett even joined Dixie and got canceled real quick by the entire TikTok community for messing up. But before I begin, make sure to grab your milk and cookies for today's video because I can promise y'all it's one hell of a ride. So like, who's gonna tell Dixie D'Amelio the more she makes sad songs, the more she'll get bullied for always being sad. You better take my words, girl. Okay. Anyways, at this point, your girl is literally confused as heck because it hasn't been a month since Dixie D'Amelio got bullied for her new song and now people are attacking her for putting another song out. Now, if you missed the latest drama on Dixie's new song, well, not only did people come after her for having the worst lyrics on the planet, but for also making another sad music to her young audience. But guys, I must say it has been almost a month since she released the song and the hate towards her kind of dropped for a split second until um i don't know how to explain this dixie suddenly surprised her fans with a new song called roommates and of course the meaning behind the song was quite sad and emotional but here's the twist about this you guys since before dixie even released the song to her fans she explained in a short text the reason why she always makes sad music some of you are going to hear it and complain that this is my third song attached to being sad or depressed mental health is something i really struggle with every day and music has become the best way for me to express this wow many people were deeply touched by her words in this paragraph the situation suddenly turned 360 degrees when dixie released the song and the music video and guys i'm not even joking but the entire internet started making fun of how dixie made a whole song just because her sister charlie d'amelio made her famous famous because of your sis i know though i know a lot of you have questions about my mental illness Anyways, after a lot of people were basically dragging Dixie for making pointless and unnecessary music, she finally decided to respond back with her sarcastic humor, of course. And guys, her sister Charlie even stood up for her and hit back at her sister's bullies as well. She made a whole song on being sad when the MF is made of multi-millions, famous as hell, and has a personal chef. Please, she's so embarrassing. Sometimes, I don't want to be happy. I'm being set up at this point. Oh my god. Hi, babies. I just want to say I have been seeing a lot of negativity coming from my supporters towards other people that goes against the messages I like to spread about being kind and supporting one another. I love you all. Please remember to spread positivity. This also goes to every single supporter of mine that is saying mean things about my sister. At the end of the day, family comes first. And if you support me but put down my sister, then you do not really support me. I think somebody Everything trying else? to set me up. Anyways, speaking of drama, well, this could probably sound very unexpected and shocking, but our unproblematic king, Perfin Johnson, decided to add more spice to his drama with Dixie. And guess what happened, y'all? He came out of nowhere and released a song called Dixie on his Spotify account. I don't know what to say, but just listen to this without your headphones. This is This is sick. This is sick. Yeah. The song was literally posted without even an announcement or a warning from Griffin. And that low-key made millions of people jump into conclusions and attack him real quick for still mentioning Dixie's name. Why is he making music? I thought he would be doing better. This man cheated on her. What's not clicking for him? This made him seem obsessed, please. After many people pointed out how Griffin is still obsessed with Dixie now that he released another song about her, it turned out that Griffin's Spotify account was hacked this whole time. In fact, he wasn't the one who released the song on his account after he cleared up the situation on Twitter by saying this. My Spotify is hacked, BTW. I don't even have premium, so enjoy my account, lol. No worries at Dixie D'Amelio, I learned the first time. While Griffin was hoping that Dixie wouldn't take any offense by the song that was released, she actually responded back at him later on by saying that she 100% believes him and that his account could have been hacked. I don't think this is real, my Spotify has been hacked before, so it's probably that, lol. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Dixie and Griffin interacting with each other again? Also, what do you think of all the hate that Dixie is receiving at the moment? Let me know in the comments down below. How are you gonna attack James Charles now for not social distancing when we are literally in our fourth pandemic this
this year. Anyways, so apparently the expiration date of people standing James Charles is finally over and he's now getting canceled and dragged left and right like before. If you guys are familiar with James Charles, then you probably have seen the thousands of TikTok videos people made about him in the past. And if you want me to go deep, some of these TikTok videos were actually disgusting to the point where not only people being homophobic, but some people were even making fun of him and his own family. Yeah, guys, earlier this week, a video of a homophobic girl went viral of her making fun of James and how his father shouldn't be proud of how his son James turned out to be. <laughs> After this video was quick to blow up all over social media, James Charles felt he needed to go off on the girl who made the video about him. And guys, he literally ate her up and dragged her ass back to where it belonged. He's very proud of his multi-millionaire 21-year-old son, LMAO. What are you doing with your life, babe? Anyways, here's the juicy part about today's topic on James, because not James was getting attacked by this girl, but the entire TikTok community was dragging him this entire week for making videos with Charlie and Dixie. D'Amelio, Larray, Noah Beck, and Lil Huddy. Now, the reason why people were throwing hate at the squad, but mostly James, was because LA was on a lockdown when they filmed the videos together. But of course, they decided to break the rules and collab on a bunch of YouTube and TikTok videos together like there wasn't a lockdown happening in their county. Here's what people have to say. LA is on lockdown. Oh, so nice of you to risk people's lives even though LA is on lockdown. Um, isn't LA supposed to be in lockdown and you're doing this? Yikes. Millions of people are dying, but you're getting your millions, right? Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on James ignoring the hate he's receiving at the moment? Also, what do you think about James and his family receiving hate on TikTok? Let me know in the comments. At this point, the internet will keep bullying Nessa Barra on social media, and I'm seriously ashamed of you guys. So, yup, there are people out there that are still sending hate towards Nessa Barrett for no reason at all. I mean, we all know the huge scandals Nessa's been through in the past, but the problem here, you guys, is that people still haven't completely forgotten about her scandals yet. In fact, earlier this week, Nessa caused a chaos in the TikTok community after she posted a normal Instagram picture. Now, the reason why this picture caused a huge mess was because of the shady tweet Nessa wrote towards Cynthia Parker for copying her fashion style. Copying is the best form of flattery apparently, so thank you. When a lot of people saw how Nessa was acting like she owns this style of fashion, she immediately received hate from thousands of people around the internet by saying this about her. Copying what? Black clothes and bad makeup? She doesn't own black clothes though. Not her claiming a f style. <laughs> Anyways, after Nessa became a huge joke on social media, she somehow decided to address the situation in the best way possible. Bro, I just cleared this up, huh? I can't just post inside jokes without y'all trying to create drama out of nothing. This has nothing to do with clothing or anything. LOL, I deleted because people assume too much? Anyways, if you really thought the hate train towards Nessa stopped there, well, I hate to break it to you, but it got much worse since a lot of people thought it was the perfect time to bully and body shame Nessa up by the same picture she posted. Blow down ASF. What's going on with the lips? Chubby choo choo. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people bullying and body shaming Nessa Barrett? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap video down in the comments below. I love you so much.